Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get uh, a laser kind of coming out of the gun here and, and make a laser gun uh, in the Unreal Engine. So this is actually fairly easy to do. So first things first, we need to open up our first person character here. And I'm going to disable this first person projectile. Um, and that way, we still have the montage of, of the gun firing. And we might even get rid of that too. Um, and it's somewhere in here. Uh, yes, the montage. So I can probably just get rid of that altogether. And, you know, nothing really happens. Uh, if we want to make sure uh, that the fire is being pressed, we can add in a print string here just to make sure. And sure enough, it is it is working here. Okay, so nevertheless, um, we can just basically get rid of that. And maybe we'll, we'll add something in the letter. But first, we need to sh basically show where the... Um, uh, where it uh, or where how to basically point from the gun all the way to the wall. So in order to do that, we need to add an event tick, and we're going to add in line trace by channel, and we're going to get the first person camera here. We need to get two things. We need to get world location, and we need to get forward vector. Okay, so we need both of these two things. Plug the world location into the line trace by channel, and we're also going to um, multiply by float. Okay, drag that up into the end here, and give this a high number like 10,000. Okay, it doesn't matter how, how big it is, but let's just draw the persistent for the time being here. And as you can see, we now have something that works here. Now, I'm just going to move up here and just kind of move it down here. And you can see that there's a bit of an offset, but we'll deal with that later, okay? Um, we'll just deal with the offset later. But basically, this is working here. And let's just do one frame. Um, that way, we know everything is. And actually, it's looking pretty good in terms of an offset. Um, and, you know, it is it is a little different um, just because we're using the first-person camera. Now, the other thing is if you use the gun, right, uh, instead of the camera, watch what happens. Okay, so sometimes, you know, it, it you can see that it, it just doesn't quite work, right? So the first person camera is going to be the uh, target that we use for now. Um, we might use the sphere here because, again, the sphere, if we look at this gun here, like the sphere is this little, let's just click on the sphere here, there's this little thing right in here. And, you know, we could try that right now. Um, but let's just get this kind of sort of working first, and we'll tweak everything later. Okay? So this is where uh, we need um, another variable here. We'll, we will add in a variable, and we're going to call this distance to wall. Okay? Now, technically, you could do this without a, um, a variable, but we need a float. And we're just going to compile that here. So it's distance to wall. Okay, so let's set distance to wall here. And the distance to wall, uh, well, we basically need to set it here. So um, we're going to break hit results. Click this little button here. And we're going to just, luckily, there's a distance here. Now, technically, you could have promoted the variable here. Um, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and let's print print string. What are we going to print here? We're basically going to print the distance to the wall here. So as you can see, as I move forward, the numbers get lower, 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 till they're basically nothing here. And then, you know, now in theory, it should go up to about 10,000. Now, why is that number there? Well, it should be this number here. Now, if you really want to, you can um, maybe add in your own variable there for the amount of distance, but I don't think that's important right now. So I'm just going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do um, is we need to import uh, a cube. 
And it's really important that we import a cube. Uh, I'm going to do this as its own video here, uh, just because I wanted to get everything set up. So, so far, we have a line trace. And by the, by the way, line trace is just exactly what it says. It's a trace of a line from one point to another. Okay. So we added in the line trace here. In the next tutorial, we're going to add in the cube. See you in the next tutorial. Also, please be sure to like and subscribe later.